So here is the video of my lab. As you can see, my name is on the door. Here's our break room. As you can see, we have all the amenities of home, microwave, toaster oven, coffee pot, teapot, sink. It's our whiteboard for when we want to do smart things. It's our big table. Refrigerator, notice the alcohol. Freezer. Notice the alcohol and more alcohol and even more alcohol and also some food. So, this is the tool room. This is also our nitrogen generating apparatus. This pulls air in and scrubs it and uh, condenses nitrogen which we use in our machines which runs through this tube here up through the roof to the machines which you'll see in a minute tools tools for working on the machine this is our negative 80 degree freezer this is where we keep our samples I'm making a video. Here's where we keep our samples. Right? All our cells, cell lines. This is my esteemed colleague, Xiao Yu Gao. As you can see, we have many posters. the clean room. This is where we do some work, cellular work. This here's where we do the denaturing of proteins for PCR. It's one of our little centrifuges, tables, all kinds of scientific equipment. This is one of our rooms. This is the boss's office. It's another one of my esteemed colleagues, Yang Zhao. <laughs> this is our gel room, gel electrophoresis. This is our dark light. Once we get our gels and run, we put them on here to see where exactly our proteins are at. It's reagents. This is the gel electrophoresis one we commonly use to determine if our proteins are clean or if our oligonucleotides are separated. Power supply, power supply. Refrigerator with more reagents. Another microwave, don't cook at it though. Here is the instrument room. We've got plenty of reagents here, right? This is a max mass spectrometer. like a warp engine for Star Trek. Refrigerated nitrogen pumps, right? This is another analytical instrument, another mass spec. This is the LTQ. This is the one I'll be working on. It's a mass spectrometer. This is an auto loader. Put your little samples in there and hit go. And it loads them for you and shoots it in the machine right here. You can see in there, there's like a little needle it gets sucked in there, and those little particles are analyzed. Another analytical machine that I have no idea what it is. This is our spectrophotometer. This is where we what we use to see if our uh, proteins are really in solution to determine their concentration. We also use it to find uh, 
cell counts. Let's see if our cells are in stationary phase or still growing. This is the table where we inoculate our cells. It's another analytical machine, which I do not know what it is. This is called a speed vac. As you can see, it's spinning. It's also under vacuum. You can't lift this up. Right? Oh, great. So we heat. What it is is this is under pressure, reduced pressure, and it's slightly heated. So you put your samples in there, and the solvent evaporates and dries them out. I'm using it. Here's another one of my esteemed colleagues. His name is Long Ray Chin. <laughs> uh, thank you. He's not, he's not in this lab, but... But he's crazy. He is crazy, and he is one of us. This is another one of our centrifuges. This is the big boy. It can spin up to around 25, 30,000 RPM. This is a fat boy incubator. Put your samples in there. In media, turn it on. Your bacteria grows just like on a lot of people's feet. It's another one. Here's the one I use. There's nothing in it right now, but as you can see, it's very hot and moist. It's the proper temperature for a cellular growth. Usually we try to keep it around 65 to 75. It's another water bath, much used. These are autoclave bottles, autoclave bottles, autoclave media. This is my office. These are the people that's looking at me crazy, wondering what I'm doing. Yeah, this, is, me, okay. this is my desk. This is Xiao Yu's desk. Say hi, Xiao Yu. Hello. That's you Young's know, desk. Man. This is our whiteboard where we try to write stuff when we think we're being smart, and we're usually not. Once again, we're in the hallway. As we walk down the hallway, you can see distant objects become closer. It's reagent room. Flammable. So we have all kinds of interesting reagents in here used for all sorts of nefarious purposes. Right? This is where we keep our plates. You can see our plates. If you look right there, you can see bacteria growth on the plate. See those little dots? This is my plate. You can't see shit though, but there's actually bacteria. Many colonies of bacteria growing there, which we take and inoculate media, grow it, spin it down, then digest it. It's just reagents. It's the refrigerator where we keep the stuff used for lysing cells. We lyse the cells and take the DNA and RNA out of them, bacteria cells, not, not eukaryotic, prokaryotic. This is my box. As you can see, there's quite a number of boxes. And in this little tube right here, That little bit of liquid contains column cleaned transfer ribonucleic acid, which we will analyze on those big machines that I showed you. Focus is some shit. There we go. TRNA HB27 wild type clean. That's that. This is another one of our rooms. This is where we do a lot of work. 
This is where we make our solutions up, check the pH. This is the hood that a lot of people use and share that I'm currently working in. As you can see, I look like I'm doing big things when really I'm not. It's mostly waste containers, a hot plate, stir plate in case somebody wants to heat something or stir something. These are centrifuge tubes. Look how big they are. You could handle a thousand milliliters of media. More than that, really, but you wouldn't want to spin it, right? A thousand milliliters of media you can put in here and centrifuge it down until you get a pellet. And then you bust it up, wash it, digest it. This sort of balances where we make our weigh things out, usually agros gels for running electrophoresis, right, more autoclave bottles, sink where we dispose of probably a lot of toxic shit, this is PCR, polymerized chain reaction, this is where uh, primers are added to a single stranded RNA and put in temperature gradients that goes up and down, denatures them, causes them to come apart and go back together. We can tag them. This is actually Kirk stuff, one of the postdocs. He's working with RNAs. This is Xiao Yu stuff. She's currently running a purification column. This little column right here. You put your stuff in, it binds to that little white place right there. Yeah. Binds to that white stuff. Then you can wash all the shit out. Then you could use a different solution to wash your what you want out. And we keep it in that. This is my bench, as you can see, it's quite barren, it's my stuff here, and that's about it, all autoclave shit, stuff we have to use, graduated cylinders, stuff like that, more reagents. Is that?